I recently created a Creole parametric video where I showed some old commands from the datum overflow menu for creating offset planes and a default coordinate system. And that got me thinking about the old legacy mode. There used to be this thing called legacy mode that was used for working on really old models or drawings and bringing up the old Pro Engineer interface. And so I thought, hey, let's go take a look at legacy mode today. If you go to the applications menu, there is no legacy command in here. So I thought, well, let's go search for it. If you click on the command search, you will get a field. And as I type in the word legacy, you can see that we have it listed under commands not in the ribbon. It's actually been removed from the interface. And if I hover my mouse over the command, you can see that there is a tooltip that tells you this will take you into legacy mode. When I click on legacy mode, you're going to get the menu manager. And this is the old way of executing commands back in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier. And this is the menu that you had, I don't know, from around maybe version 12 or 14 through 2001. Earlier in Pro Engineer, there are even more commands like DBMS for working on different things. But anyhow, this is the menu. If you want to have an interesting trip, you can click on some of these different commands and see how features were made back in the day. But one interesting thing that I found in here, there is a command that I really liked back in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier that for some reason never made the transition from Pro Engineer into Wildfire 1.0 and later. If you take a look in the graphics area, let me go back to the view tab. Here we have a bunch of different axes that you can see in the screen. If you go to the view tab, you can turn on the display of the tags for the names of those different axes. And here you can see that this one has been renamed to Piston. And we have a bunch of other axes in here that were named automatically. When you create a hole in the model, well, Creo Parametric will create an axis going down the center of that hole, and it gives it a name. And currently today, you can't change the name, but back in the day, you used to be able to change the names of things like datums that were created with features or maybe datums that come across in an imported feature. And I thought, hey, I wonder if that command is available in legacy mode. It turns out that it is. So in the menu manager, when you are in legacy mode, if you go to the setup command, well, it brings up a whole bunch of different options. Some of these are available today from the file properties menu, like material, accuracy, and units. Also renaming features. Well, now you can do that right in the model tree. You can see parameters in there. We've got tolerance set up. But also for the name command, well, besides renaming features, you have this option for detail items. And so this allows you to change, for example, the names of surface finishes, geometric tolerances, or symbol instances to change the name. But there's this other option down here called Other. And when you click on Other, this allows you to select an axis, curve, coordinate system, point, edge, surface or user volume so this allows you to rename different entities that you have in your model so for example here we have the a6 axis i can click on it and instead of having this being called a6 well i could call this the top hole axis nice long name hit the enter key and now that is the name of the feature. If you take a look at this piston feature, when I click on it, well, I can rename it, but let me get out of the command. When I click on the piston feature, it's actually part of the first feature listed in the model tree in this old legacy part. And so that's how they renamed it. Again, you have this setup command and then you can go to name and you can use the other command. So for me, that was kind of a trip where it's just like, hey, this old command that I couldn't get to after 2001 is actually still available by using legacy mode. 
And in the next video, I'm going to show you even more wacky stuff with legacy mode. It's it really blew my mind. Just wait till the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.